Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to look into uh, importing of uh, libraries. So I was just going through the libraries that are available and then I found this um, Android photo filters. So with this library we'll be able to make something like this. So uh, I thought why not make an app. So if you make an app like this you can directly upload it to Play Store. Um, it's an app on itself so this library is gonna help you to make an app like this uh, I think it's gonna be super simple um, let's have a look so for now what I have done is I have um, gone and created a project I have imported the library here and uh, they have mentioned like compile so don't forget to uh, convert it into implementation and uh, after that, I ended up adding this in the main activity as they directed. So they have uh, all the things listed here. You don't have to worry about anything. Once uh, I have added that here, I thought why not make the activity main ready. So this is how it's going to look like. It will have... Um, super simple here I, I have made the weight to be 4 total and after that I've given the image view a weight of 3 so that it will almost cover the whole screen but keeping a little bit of space for my horizontal scroll view okay so um, once you run it you're gonna get something like this you can um, you know scroll it as you can see here right so we want to do um, a simple tap here and then the filter will change accordingly right um, so but also one thing I am using a horizontal scroll view here uh, because I am just going to implement maybe like three filters at the max uh, but you guys can go ahead and add in a recycler view if you want the list to be like super long so that's going to help you a lot if you have not or if you don't know how to make a recycler view then just check out um, my videos it will be somewhere on the top i'm going to um, keep a card there for you guys okay so once that is um, once all this is done you'll get something like this so let's add in the functionality one by one so i've kept uh, main activity um, totally empty here now let's go ahead with the directions, right? So what they're saying is in order to use any of the filters, you need to uh, add in dependencies, uh, which we have already done. Or you can, you know, um, do this step. Either way, whichever is going to work. But we will test it out. I mean, I, I have not used this library before, so I have no clue if the steps that I'm following is the right step or not so we'll, we will figure it out on the way uh, once this is done we are going to um, add in uh, this line of code so first I think let's quickly have a look as uh, at what we have here um, so we have not assigned any IDs so let's do that let's assign some IDs so let this be filter one and ID filter two and ID filter oh sorry and um, ID filter tree right so we are going to use three filters here um, and then we are going to just um, add in, in here so there are four image views right now right and we are going to add uh, first as the image view which is um, the big center image that we have and the second is going to be we'll just add it here so it's going to be filter one filter two uh, 
filter three. Okay. Once that is done, uh, we are going to add in the functionality here. Okay. So we are going to see if this filter one dot, or we are going to assign now each of them. So next step is we'll assign um, the IDs. So I mean, like we'll, we'll link both the XML and whatever we have here. Um, this is going to be image view. Then we have find view by ID r dot ID dot image. Okay, so I've named it uh, image here. Now same we're going to do with filter one, filter two, and filter three. So once the assigning is done, now we can add in the on-click listener, right? So let's quickly add that. Now, um, I just want to make it super easy. I, I want to make it like, um, you know, add like switch statement or something. So um, in order to do that, I'll just quickly implement um, on-click listener. Okay, so it will ask me to implement one of their methods. We're going to go in with the onClick method and we are going to um, add in all the functionalities here. So for now, we're going to add in this. Okay, uh, same with filter 2, filter 3. Right, uh, so we are going to use switch statement. And we are going to get their IDs. So get ID. Now we will go through each of these cases one by one. So case um, r dot id dot filter. Okay. So if it's this, then what filter are we going to use? So let's go ahead here and see what is the filter we can use. Okay, so we are going to add in the case here, which is r.id.filter1. So once this is done, we are going to get into all these filters. Um, now here, there are some few filters that we can add in. Here is like saturation, subfilter, color overlay, subfilter, contrast, subfilter, brightness, subfilter, vignette, subfilter, right? So these are the uh, filters that we can use. Um, so let's go ahead with saturation subfilter. We'll go ahead one by one, okay? Um, here again, you can add in your own tone, your own filter, and work accordingly. Uh, but for the sake of this tutorial, we're gonna go in quite fast. Um, so just quickly import all this. It's not able to recognize saturation subfilter for some reason. Let's go ahead with <coughs> their brightness and whatever it is yeah, and see if that works. Yeah, so you have all these subfilters and their contrast subfilters is there and brightness subfilter is there. Now we are going to add in the image, um, the input image, right? So what we can do is um, this as you can see it's asking for a bitmap so in order to convert an image into a bitmap we need to get the bitmap drawable first so let's quickly um, get the bitmap uh, bitmap drawable okay right and after that let's get the image so we have uh, the image in the image view uh, we are going to do a get drawable there okay so once that is done okay 
so we need to convert it into bitmap drawable okay so once that's done we are gonna get the bitmap bitmap equal to um, drawable dot get bitmap so that is it now we're going to click on bit like we are going to add that bitmap image okay so after that we'll get the output image and once we get the output image we are going to set that uh, set image view with that output image okay so image view dot set uh, image bitmap here it is right so we are going to add that output image here so um, so filter one is done now let's quickly see if things have worked so after running what we can do is once we click on that oh okay we got a crash let's see what the crash is all about so I figured out that um, the error that was caused because uh, the bitmap you need to make it mutable uh, or else it won't work so I did not know about that so let's let's see how it goes uh, for time being I have added this line just to make it work maybe the more I get into the library the more I'll get to know slowly slowly so for timing I'll show you how it, it's looking like so when I tap on it um, okay so when I tap on it so it is getting the filter is getting added the more I tap the more filter the more it gets brightened up um, right so let's pause it there now I did try um you know, like i i did try all these uh color overlay sub filter and all um i don't know how this is supposed to work but um color overlay and saturation sub filter these four are not working but contrast and brightness is working and i guess even vignette is not going to work so what we are gonna do is we'll see what is mentioned here they are saying that you can use something called sample filters .java. Um, so implementation is straightforward you need to add in the filter directly so they are they've provided in few filters there um, right so as you can see they have okay so these are all custom uh, they have already made these filters and they have made it ready for us so let's see if if this works uh, how the implementation is it's written here so let's quickly head on and see if if it works okay so we'll do a case oh sorry id dot filter to we'll keep this for a new filter that we kind of figured out uh, I mean, let's see if that works um, I'm copying the same thing from here and although it's not a good naming convention but well I'm just doing it uh, for time being um, right now we are going to do we're going to set and see if things are actually working um, okay so let's quickly test this we'll run this part and we'll try to tap on the second um, image and see how it goes okay okay so I think it's kind of working it is giving that bluish kind of uh, filter so these are working filters so let's let let's see how we can go with the next one let's decide how to put it so filter tree and let's
let's just copy it for time being. <laughs> I'm so this is like get blue mass filter. Let's see what other filters the sample filters have. So they have lime starter filter, get night whisper filter, get starlit filter, um, get awestruck white filter. So you can add all these one by one. Um, but for the sake of the video, I'm just going to add maybe a lime starter filter. Okay. We're going to keep this to two, this to three. Oh, okay. You know what? I'm gonna just quickly name all this and get back in a minute. Huh. Okay. So the naming is done. I have named it in a proper way now, and frankly speaking, it is much more better way. Okay. So let's quickly run this and see if our filter tree, like it's working, like how it's working, how it's looking. Let's have a look at it. Okay, so let me scroll to the last one. And this is how the last filter is looking like. So we have this filter in the end, this filter, and then this filter. So you can add in so here what um, the drawback is that you know one image is having all the filters all together which is and and if I add in more filters just look at what is happening so that is not what we want at least I don't want it like that um, so let's do one thing let's keep a copy of the image view that we have the image that we have um, Let's keep a copy of that and then and then we'll see what happens, okay? Okay, so let's add a bitmap here. So bitmap and then um, original bitmap. Okay, and then we will add in the things here. So um, get the drawable and get the bitmap out of it and then we will add this with the original bitmap right so that is done now we'll, we'll remove this right uh, by default it's gonna have a copy on it so it won't hamper on the original uh, bitmap so let's do that let's take it out okay and then in here we are going to add in original bitmap original bitmap and then original bitmap so if, if you just uh, have a look we are not making any changes to the current um, bitmap so when I click on this it works here but when I click further it shows the same filter when I click on this see so it does not um, no matter how many times I tap on it it's not going to uh, change the original image and add like multiple filters on it right so uh, that's it guys for today thank you so much for watching do subscribe to my channel and do let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and uh, see you in the next video bye bye